Ready? Just talk like that. Hey, we're right back at you. We're just going to kick it here at the table. We're, we're, we're not going to really try to shoot a, a format to you that, that like overwhelm you. But we're just going to show you how we kick it at the table, how we relax, and how we eat. So you were saying, uh, you were talking about um, uh, knowing how to eat and knowing what to eat. Right. I mean, we have to know that when there's a stress level, mm -hmm. I mean, you being a chef, I right. mean, I saw you at Beachmont, you know, we worked <laughs> together there. I mean, it is a crazy <laughs> high end, What'd you, tell you know, people expect yeah. the, the meat to be tender and everything to be perfect. They want it a certain way. And then when you go as a server, you bring it to you and then you're cooking, you have a couple of other chefs with attitudes. Attitudes. And then you got the you got the country club guy. Men in the kitchen with attitude. <laughs> well and, and, and then and then we got a lot of shucking and jiving. Right. And we do have a lot of fun, but right. but you know, when someone's meal's not right and it's it's personal. It's yeah. personal to a yeah. chef yeah. when someone doesn't like your food. Exactly. It's personal to mom when you come home and said, "Oh, I'm not going to eat I'm that." I'm not eating that. Rest, I mean, that's right. God, God that's forbid, right. I didn't eat. Right. You know the mm. smoothie, mm -hmm. the meatloaf, right, and the peas when my mom was cooking mm -hmm. because I wouldn't be eating. You know what I mean? So you ate what was put in front of you because you res respected. The amount of time that went in there. So, so what I'm saying is, you know, stress that level causes you. You're working, working, working. You're you're not eating. You're not eating. You come home. Your dog tired. And I know when I was in nursing home care and work managing kitchens and working in kitchens, the last thing I want to do is come home and cook. Right. Right. You know. So so what do you do? You grab box macaroni and cheese or yeah. something simple, yeah. or you would order pizza or you know, whatever was out there. And all of a sudden, you know, the lifestyle that you had when you were in your 20s, thinking, oh, you're cute and you look good and you're feeling good. All of a sudden, it goes from a size 6 to a 10 to a 16 to a double X. Oh, my and, God. And it, and, it, and, it, and it happens slowly. Yeah, but yeah, most it, definitely. But it really is the, you know, um, the, the being unaware. Right. Of what, what stress deals with. And, and that emotion of, you know, just having conversations. Like how many times did you sit at a table with a friend and you had a nice plate of food and that friend died of a heart attack or cancer. Yeah. Yeah. And you're having one of those days where you want to talk to them and you remember, God, I can't call them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe you were go you went with them to even a good restaurant. Right. You know, maybe you went to um, Pier 1, let's say. Mm. So you're going to want to have that Pier 1 experience right. with a cake and a cocktail or something like that. So you're going to take yourself to that, trying to bring that friend back. Right. So you might start overeating. And you don't even, right. are you not even overweight? of it. Depression there kicks in. You yeah. know, so yeah. I remember, yeah. you know, yeah. my dad always used to, on Sundays when he would come home, he was a fireman, he would go down to Jack's Donuts in East Cleveland okay. and get, you know, the really, you know, right off the, fryer wow. donuts you know wow. where the the glaze and the yeah. cinnamon they were still warm yeah so we he, we'd wait for him watching you know david and goliath mm -hmm. you know waiting on church for those warm donuts i mm -hmm. would wake up at six you know hoping the donuts would come right. and then dunk them in the milk right and then we'd go to church right and then we'd have steak and eggs i mean that was just a typical sunday well okay. when you're feeling like nothing's working in your life and you don't have that relation with your family, you're kind of estranged maybe, you want a donut, so you go get a glazed donut. It's not Jack's glazed donut, but it's a donut, and, but you really need to talk. Right. So how, and that's, and that's what Sustainwell, and it's that's what Chef Jay and I yeah. are gonna be talking about, is real dirt down, dirty conversation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and opening up. If more people would sit around the table and eat and listen, versus have an attitude. We all know mm -hmm. family members that talk smack to everybody. Right. And they they get upset for what? Over burnt mashed potatoes? Or wow. burnt bacon? Really? I mean I mean I know it's bigger than that, mm -hmm. but it's dialoguing about what's happening in the world and, you know, loving on people. Mm -hmm. And that's really what, you know, life is all about. 
sustaining your life, having a real conversation, getting rid of the sugar, understanding what's mm -hmm. in the food, mm -hmm. um, eating naturally, which we haven't done in probably 30 years. If you mm -hmm. think about, if you think about when um, Stouffer's went into business oh with the God. frozen foods, worked for them for years. You know, so yeah. and then the, the then the dual income families where moms mm -hmm. had to go to work to bring home the bacon to mm -hmm. give their kids. Uh, better education nothing wrong with that right. but they didn't have time to cook like grandma did they didn't have time I and mean, yes there's crock pots but they're using a lot of the processed foods which okay. is now we're seeing cancer ms diabetes in overabundance right and right. what what we're going to try to teach everybody is how to simply cook and prepare simple easy dishes back mm -hmm. to health back mm -hmm. to grandma's kitchen that's simple and easy and that's what and, sustainable and you know, is all about you know let me let me just come right in here because it makes a lot of sense and, and if you're listening with a real ear a fine ear you can hear it if food is supposed to be good and dining and going to restaurants is so great why is there so many attitudes when it comes to it Food looks immaculate. You put it on the table. I remember, uh, and not to get off the subject, I remember there was a time our dinner table was the place of everything. You prayed, uh, you blessed the food, you looked at the food, you ate the food. And I never liked string beans. I hated them. But, but here's what the table was about. What did you do in school? What did you do in school? Uh, what did mom and dad do? Uh, how's the house? And it, it was a planning thing because we right. came together. People go to restaurants. I was just riding around today, and I'm making it real short because we got to cut the video. I was riding around, and I said, people go to restaurants because of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The larger the restaurant, the bigger the atmosphere. Multi-conversations going on. It's not about the food. It's all about just being there, you know? So you can have a table like that, or you can have a table like this where you learn about some nutritional value food. You got some. This is appetizers right here. Appetizer, lunch, it could be dinner, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you know, a snack. you got a salad over here. Pick that up, Colin. Oh yeah. You know, you got a salad over here. You know, right there. There's dinner. There's lunch. There's whatever. You grill your chicken breast. Grill you some flank steak or whatever. You cut up maybe two or four ounces and put on top of there. There's your dinner. You're done. I'm hungry, Jay. You just gave me that rabbit food. I'm hungry. Well, let's go back and let's start eating some vegetables until we get full. That way we're able yeah. to digest this food. Mr. J, what are you talking about? Let's cook with some olive oil, something that's healthy. Let's reduce it by having a glass of wine, if you're a wine drinker. I'm not. But if you're not a wine drinker, please, by all means, don't go get a glass of Rip It. Or have a smoothie. Have a you smoothie. know, with uh, green, you know? you know, green smooth, throw some kale in there, some almond milk. Oh, my God. Some good, complete protein that is recommended by someone who's done their research. Mm -hmm. I mean, so there's a lot of fine mm -hmm. things that are brought around the table. Get it just has to be open. donuts off your refrigerator. Get those cheese nits off your refrigerator. Get those zingers off your refrigerator. You got oranges, you got zingers, you got all of that, and that sugar is fighting because. Well, of... and we're going to integrate some of that sugar, but well, not all the time. Not Once all the time. we, we kind of understand that I'm addicted to it, I need to remove it for a time and then bring it in slowly right. and do it at a time that I'm not eating it out of emotion. I'm eating it because Bang, there we I, go. Want, right. I want it. Right. You know, I'm going to be consciously aware of. The donuts or good, the cake, then I'm going to gobble up this donut because I'm trying, I'm lonely, I'm sad, <laughs> I'm angry <laughs> at somebody. But who are you hurting but yourself? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, that's the whole bottom line. But we're going to have a lot of stories Coming like right this. So thanks for coming. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.